Yeah, it's a Hoya hand grenade brings up something that there was an interesting discussion presented about this recently. Rumors are bre are breaking here that the owners are in discussions right now about talking about a potential quarterback salary cap. That these contracts have gone so crazy, that they've gone so over the top, that they are pushing the envelope so beyond what the owners find to be okay, that it's it's drawn the owners into a position of believing that we'll have a se separate salary cap for a quarterback. And all I've got to say to that is, yeah, I think this is absolutely the way that this should go. I think that the numbers on these quarterbacks have gone out of control. You're not paying for oftentimes what you're getting. You're being more held hostage to the situation sometimes as a franchise to where you just, it's the fear of losing the guy more than the wanting of keeping the guy that ends up overriding your decision-making factor. It can sink franchises when it goes wrong, as we've seen with the Deshaun Watson contract and what that may end up doing to them or the Russell Wilson contract with the Denver Broncos. And it's continually going up in this direction that's getting more and more extreme. So the NFL taking a little bit of this away from the quarterbacks and stopping this, I think is a much better way for the NFL to go here. It's fair for the players because these quarterbacks are the same quarterbacks that can play sometimes 15, 20 years. While these other positions like running backs, as I just showed with McCaffrey, You've got about a four-year stretch if you're lucky. Yet that guy's got to be paid at a penance of what this guy gets to be paid with a longer career. That's not fair and that's not right. And uh, I think the the owners would be smart to try to, to fix this. On top of, I think it would make the game more interesting to being able to have teams not be as held, and, and again, hostage is the word I'll use, held hostage by these quarterback contracts and what it then does to these franchises and their ability to build a team and build a contender. So smart move by the NFL if they're taking the steps to do this. And in my opinion, long overdue. Mythic R, thank God. I really hope the quarterback salary cap takes effect. I do too. I don't like it in the game. I, I think it creates problems in locker rooms between quarterbacks and players. It separates them in a way that's not helped. There's already natural separation because there's so much on their shoulders. But when you start making the guy more than double the highest paid player of any other guy on the, on the roster, I, I can't see how that doesn't at times create some animosity especially when that guy's not holding up his end of the bargain or perceived to not be holding up his end of the bargain. It'd be very smart for the NFL to go down this realm, I think. Chad says, yeah, I saw that in my alert. And no joke, it's a long time coming, quarterback con. Yeah, quarterback cap. This is where I come to, Chad. I think everybody in fandoms and three agreements that, yeah, there should be a cap. The hell with them getting paid more than the other players. And I'm sorry, quarterbacks are the most protected player on the field and they, you, you can barely touch them anymore. These guys should be paid more than to double that of the guys that are laying their bodies on the line. That don't add up. Brian East says, not to mention the cap room. It eats up to fill holes in other positions and sometimes numerous ones. Yeah, it causes teams to make stupid choices and, and gut their teams. And it, you see it all across the board. You're, you're seeing it within potentially the Niners. Yeah, they want to move Ayuk. Oh, they don't want to move Ayuk. They, they, they know they got to pay Brock Purdy $50 million in another year. $55 million another year. The price keeps going up with every new contract signed. Two is going to sign his and bam goes up even more. It's not good for the sport. It's not for the betterment of the sport these quarterbacks are making this money. It's only the betterment of the quarterbacks. Not the fans, not the teams. And if that's the case, then let's regulate this.